To be able to deliver IP to an automotive application, highest level of safety integrity level needs to be achieved through fault injection simulation. Hello, my name is YJ Patil. I I'm represent DDR IP um, as a verification manager. So my topic is fault injection simulation. Um, I'm going to break it down and cover uh, three items, what, why, and how. So what is fault injection simulation? Uh, it's, it's an extension to functional verification process where you inject the faults to the design and then observe and check the behavior. So that's fault injection simulation. So why, why, do, why is it required? Um, automotive safety integrity level C and D uh, require a fault injection simulation to be performed to guarantee functional safety of the design. How would we go about doing it? Um, so I'll just draw a small process diagram here. To perform fault injection simulation as a process, um, you need um, an input from FMEDA, which is failure mode effect and diagnostic analysis. And then you need a, a functional test bench, test bench. And then, you'd, of course, you need the tools to uh, uh, automate this uh, task, but what you produce is a diagnostic coverage through fault injection simulation. So this itself, the, the process, uh, it takes the uh, two components as an input. So what we get from FMEDA is we get a block diagram of the design and the test, and we also get the possible failure mode and the effect when the failure happens, and then what are the diagnostic mechanism or a as handling mechanism, safety elements are there, and then there is an analysis spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet analysis of the, your design and the test. So that provides an input to uh, input to your fault injection simulation. Fault injection simulation requires you to draw a DUT diagram, something like that, a functional output, checker output, and set up inputs to the design. <laughs> And then based on the functional output and checker output, using the tool, you need to derive the fault target list. So that fault target list would provide the signals that are in a cone of influence of the functional output and the checker output. Once you have these uh, as a part, uh, uh, you know, formally captured as an input to the simulator, you, you can now use a simulator to inject these selected faults on each uh, fault target signal and then observe the behavior and collect the diagnostic coverage. So once you obtain the diagnostic coverage, you need to tally the diagnostic coverage obtained from the fault injection simulation with your spreadsheet calculation at, and, and produce a consistent results. Thank you for watching uh, Whiteboard Wednesday. Uh, check back in again next week. My name is YJ Patil. Uh, thank you.